Dennis. I'm Andrew. And we are the Crafty Lumberjacks. And that's Teddy. He's taking a bath. <laughs> As most of you know, we are ambassadors for Plaid Crafts. And this month they're focusing on projects that have to do with self-care. Yes, we cannot believe it's September already. This year has flown. So we're gonna slow our roll a little bit and zen out by watercoloring. Yeah, and uh, getting crafty for the fall. We really wanted to zone out and take some time for ourselves while doing this video, not worrying too much about what crafts we were making, but really enjoying the process. Yes, we love projects that we can zone out, binge watch, put in our favorite shows, and watercoloring is perfect for that. It puts you in this mindless state. Yes, and there's really no right or wrong way to do it, and it actually usually turns out pretty good. And if not, it's like easy to start over. We like to wet our paper first, start painting light to dark, and using colors in the same family is a really good way to help things not get muddy. Yeah, we did the front and back on one sheet and tried a new technique we never tried, adding lots of water and swirling things around. It almost gave it a tie-dye effect. We loved it. We decided we were gonna make a handful of projects using leaves. Uh, we do this every season. Uh, it's the time of year. Yes, use clip art. Clip art is your friend. Mm -hmm. You can print out some leaves on cardstock and use that as a template. Here we trace them onto our dried pieces of watercolor paper and cut out some leaves. I love this because it's so versatile. You can really use it anywhere. We wanted to take it to the next level and we added just a little bit of gold metallic paint. I was trying to be really careful at first, but it was harder than I thought. And then I started smudging it with my fingers and really ended up liking the messy look. I think it just really added to it. A nice subtle touch. to add our favorite Mod Podge Ultra. Yes, these are gonna keep them lasting strong for years and years. Yeah, this way if they get wet or anything, uh, the colors will not run. Love this stuff. Once our leaves were all dry, we decided to glue them on to some branches that we found in Queens. Believe it or not, we do have trees and we were <laughs> able to find some branches. Uh, this looks great as part of a table uh, scape, table decor, or also if you pop it in a vase. Yeah, it's so cute. There's like a little bit of natural, a little bit of watercolor, it's great. We really like to change out our space every season. So we decided we were gonna do a large leaf in a frame. We found an uh, image online, cut it out, did the same process with the painting, just cause it looked that good. And we added it into a frame with some contact paper and just a piece of cardstock. Really simple, really inexpensive, and it has a big impact. go to waste, so we used our little leaf punches to create some table scatter and leaf confetti. We did this once for a baby shower and the people went crazy. Yeah, they really add a big impact. It's all about those little details, so punch them out now, save them for later. And for our last super easy project, we're just adding a leaf to a pre-made card. Just a little handmade touch can go a really long way. Yes, we love sending snail mail, and we use some of our leaf confetti to pop right to the card for an extra little surprise. 
Even though we didn't have a goal in mind, we're still happy with the results. Yeah. But you have to remember, it's not always about the end product, it's about the process, the journey. Yeah, so whatever you love to do, whatever brings you happiness, go do it. Pull out those materials and just have some mindless fun. Remember why you liked it in the first place. Sometimes you lose sight of that. That's true. Just take a deep breath and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.